Porsche is a car company steeped in legend, with vehicles like the 911 and the new 718 Cayman and Boxster carrying on a grand tradition of driver's cars. But the German brand has made a fortune over the last 15 years selling SUVs, not coupes. And this Macan S is the latest in a conquest for new market segments. How does it look? Like most Porsche designs, the Macan shape is quite restrained while still unmistakably sporty. Overall, I love the wind-cheating silhouette with the big wheels pushed all the way out to the corners, but I'll admit that I like the clean detailing of the backside more than the slightly busy front end. How's the storage? Macan has a maximum of 53 cubic feet of storage space, which actually puts it right in the middle of its competitive set. But don't let that worry you, there's still plenty of space back here for most of the stuff that you might want to carry. I didn't find much surprising stowage space in this cabin, but the requisite pair of cup holders, decent door pockets, and a small bin under the armrest should be enough for two people's things. Is it roomy? I fit quite comfortably in the front of the Macan, which means all of you average size folks should be just fine. The back isn't tremendous, but again, four normal adults won't feel overly familiar after cruising around town together. How does the interior feel? So these are actually the standard Macan seats, and they're finished in a color that Porsche calls agate gray, but to me looks really brown. And I dig them. I like the way that the surface fabric feels, and I really like the way that the overall seat hugs me. Other than that, it's really a typical Porsche button fest in here, especially around the center console and up top. But overall, this is the kind of reserved design that you expect from Porsche, and one that I would expect will look good in 20 years. Is it well equipped? Macan comes standard with more than a few desirable features. There are bi-xenon self-washing headlights along with LED running lamps and tail lamps to start. Inside, standard features include the eight-way power adjustable seats that I like so much. There's a 4.8 inch touchscreen display, Bluetooth connectivity, and a 10 speaker audio system. Nice bits like rain sensing wipers and three zone automatic climate control are also included as standard. Our Macan S does have about 10 grand in options too, for me, the best options money spent is on the handling front, meaning Porsche active suspension management, torque vectoring for those slick corner exits, and the Sport Chrono Pack. They're also really nice 20-inch wheels. How's the infotainment system? On the plus side, the Macan screen is responsive with crisp graphics. With that said, it doesn't have a completely obvious structure to the software, meaning I was hunting for functions fairly often. Android Auto users are out of luck here. One can get Macan with the Apple CarPlay, but only if you opt for the $1,000 Porsche Connect package, which my test car did not have. Is it a good daily driver? Well, one thing that I would absolutely recommend if you're looking at a Macan and it's a car that you think that you're gonna drive every day is the active suspension. The comfort mode on the active suspension really does smooth things out. But really the best part of the Macan as a daily driver is that you get all of this Porsche fun in a clever package. There's a reason why people like small SUVs, right? You get all that storage back there, you get a decent back seat, plenty of room up here even for big guys like me, and yet the car has the exterior dimensions that make it easy to park and run to the mall and just generally not be in people's way. So it does make sense to have a Porsche in this segment. One more element that makes Macan a really great daily driver is there's just nice visibility. Obviously, one of the things that people like about SUVs is you're sitting up a little higher. And in this case, you have really nice forward visibility with thinner A pillars, so you can see out the sides really well too. Is it fun to drive? The Macan S makes a healthy 340 horsepower, 339 pound-feet of torque, and will get to 60 in 5.2 seconds. Now listen, I'm all for the 911 purists, <laughs> but anybody who drives this car is gonna tell you that it corners flat as hell. 
It's hard to quibble with the dynamics of this car when you're on a good road, or even if you're just flooring it on a straight ahead. It feels out and out like a Porsche, for sure, even though I'm sitting up a little higher than I normally would be. The steering feel is a little bit more sedate than you'd find in a 718, for instance, but that doesn't mean that it's completely lifeless, in fact, far from it. And I've gotta say that the really stiff yet responsive chassis and the super sharp brakes have me forgetting that I'm in a crossover a lot of the time. How's the fuel economy? Fuel economy isn't a strong suit here at 17 miles per gallon city, 23 highway, and 19 combined. But in the context of cars that compete with the Macan S, like the Jaguar F-Pace, Audi SQ5, and Mercedes AMG GLC 43, it's pretty much right in line. Higher gas bills are just another way you pay for performance. How much is it? In what has become a Porsche tradition, Macan MSRP varies wildly, between the $47,800 base model up to $87,700 for the Macan Turbo with a performance package. My Macan S is reasonable middle ground, with a base of $54,400 and an as-tested price of $64,905. What are the negatives? Actually, the main negative is inherent in this segment and not specifically in the Macan, and that's that there's just no real good practical reason for owning a sports luxury SUV. After all, an Audi Q5 does everything this car does on a basic level, but for thousands of dollars less. Of course, then you're not driving a Porsche. Who should buy it? With all things considered, the Macan is actually the most practical and affordable member of the Porsche family. Yet it still offers thrills that are representative of the brand that you grew up lusting after. If that combination of things appeals to you, give it a look.